Well, what, what strikes me most in these murals, of course, is the automobile production at the Rouge plant. And I'm always struck by how Rivera was able to capture so much physical space and compress it into such a small area. The actual Rouge plant is like a mile by a mile and a half in size, 93 buildings, some 16 million square feet of space. There's no way you could convey all of that in one room. So he's resorted to what I would call selective compression. And you've got, you see the molten steel there from the blast furnace in the background. That would have been done in a different building in the Rouge. But nevertheless, it would have been connected by conveyors. And Rivera's done a great job of capturing that sense of movement of these conveyors moving parts between the different buildings and facilities at the Rouge. When I come in here, I'm, I'm always drawn to a group that's on um, the other wall here of the, the tourists that are walking through, uh, visitors on a guided tour of the Rouge plant. And that's maybe something that Ford wasn't really counting on when he first started the assembly line at Highland Park, the incredible interest in just the general public in having that. So it wasn't too long before he had to have a whole staff of tour guides on hand. And then he found out that the workers were sometimes getting distracted by these smaller groups. So the solution is to bring in even more groups and just make it a regular part of the experience. So that carried on into the Rouge. And even in the 1930s, 1940s, they had 150, 160,000 visitors a year. I, I think it's, it's very accurate in terms of showing the processes, the work that's going on to build an automobile. You've got everything from casting the metal to making or milling out the blocks here for the engines. And then on the other side, you've got them stamping body panels, putting them together. So all the major elements of assembling a car are there. Uh, where I think he has taken some license, and to good effect, is in portraying the workers as almost larger than life. I mean, they're in the foreground as you see them, but particularly when you compare them with that, that group of visitors. You see how the visitors look so small and almost insignificant compared to these large forms out front. When I look at this, I think of our Made in America exhibit back at the museum where we have an Ingersoll milling machine uh, that would have been used similar to the milling machines you see back here. Just, you know, after you've cast the engine block, you have to get in and smooth out those surfaces, remove the rough edges. So I see those and I, I think of pieces in our own collection. And I think the same thing I think when I look at the static exhibit back at, at the Henry Ford Museum is that I, you know, I wish I could hear that. That's the one thing that's missing. And in this, this is a beautiful, quiet, contemplative space, but, you know, I feel like there should be just incredible noise in here.